transistor as an amplifier. Uh, the major applications of a transistor is as a current amplifier. Okay. Uh, so again, I, I would like to stress again, uh, this is current amplifier. Okay. So just to increase current and uh, not voltage amplifier. Amplifier means to increase. Uh, amplifier means to increase the current. So, so transistor is used to increase currents. Uh, so that's why we call it uh, this uh, current amplifier. So a transistor can be used to amplify. Amplify means magnify. Okay, magnify means to increase. Uh, to amplify current changes because a small change in the base current produces a large change in collector current. Okay, uh, how we work. Uh. Let's say we have a transistor. Okay, now uh, this is NPN or PNP transistor. N P N. Uh, okay, so this is NPN. Okay, so let's label the three currents: uh, IC, uh, IB. Okay, now we are just interested in IC and IB. Uh, okay. Now for IC and IB, which one is bigger? IC, right? The collected current is always higher than the base current. Eh? Okay. So when there's a current flow in the base, we know that the base control the collector, right? If there's no current flow in the base, there's no current flow in the collector. Even though uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a closed circuit eh, in the collector circuit. Eh? But if there's no base current, there's no collector current. Eh? So, so when IB equal to zero, your IC must also equal to zero, okay? Now, let's say when your IB equals to 0 0.1 ampere, then your IC become two ampere, okay? IC is always higher than IB, yeah? And if your IB is uh, 0 0.2 ampere, then your IC become four ampere. And if your IB is uh, 0 0.3, then it becomes six ampere and so on, okay? So uh, from here, we can see that there is a strong relationship between IC and IB, yeah? okay. So from here, can you tell? Can you please tell me, uh, IC is proportional, directly proportional, or inversely proportional to IB? Yes. What do you think? Is directly proportional or inversely proportional? Is directly proportional, right? Okay. So when IB increase, IC increase. Uh, okay. So if there is a small change in uh, the base currents, uh, okay then it will produce a big change a great ch a greater change in this uh, collector circuit when this increase from 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 this will increase from 2 to 6 ampere so uh so you see we we produce we give a small current in the base circuit then we will produce a large current in the collector circuit okay you just give 0 0.1 at ib then you will get 2 ampere in ic so we say the transistor amplify the current, small currents in, large current out. So the transistor amplify the currents. Eh? So that is how transistor act as an amplifier. Now, if we plot the graph of IC against IB, okay, you see here I give micro ampere, but this is milli ampere. Okay, milli is one thousand times higher than micro. That's what you need to know, okay? So one mic one milliampere is one thousand times higher than one microampere. Now, if we draw the graph uh, to tell the relationship between IC and IB, you are going to get a straight line like this, and uh, you will find that the the IC will be much higher than IB, okay? It will be much higher than IB. And it's a straight line passes through the origin, so therefore is uh, directly proportional. Eh? Directly proportional. Okay. Now let's go back to the previous case. Okay. So this case, uh, we can see that IC is how many times greater than IB? Yes. Any idea? How many times? Uh, IC is greater than IB. How many times? Two. Zero point one to two. Zero point two to four. Zero point three to six. There. How many times? 20 times right okay so 0 0.1 you need to multiply by 20 then you get 2 okay 0 0.2 multiply by 20 you get 4 uh, 0 0.3 multiply by 20 you get 6 right okay so uh, in this case IC is always 20 times higher than IB okay 
for this transistor, some transistor it can be 80 times higher, uh, uh, 200 times higher, or even a 1000 times higher, or 2000 times higher, okay? So it depends on the transistor. But this transistor, the current in the collector circuits is always 20 times higher than the current in the base circuits, huh? okay? So this how many times the collector circuit is, uh, the collector current is higher than the base current, and this is called the amplification factor okay the amplification factor so the ratios of ic over ib is called the amplification factor okay and ic the over ib actually is also equal to the gradient of the graph eh? gradient of the graph so in a transistor small amount of uh, small currents will produce a large currents and how much the large currents greater than the small current that's called amplification factor so sometimes they may give you the graph and then they would like you to find the amplification factor uh, then you need to know the amplification factor is how many times the ic greater than ib and for a graph like this you can find the amplification factor from the gradients of the graph let me give you one example okay let's say this is 0 0.3 and this is 2 okay so from here we can see that when the base current is 2 micro ampere then the collector currents is uh, 0 0.3 milli ampere okay so what is the amplification factor amplification factor factor is equal to ic divided by IB okay in in our case IC equal to 0 0.3 milli milli is times 10 to the power of negative 3 yeah? 3 and then divided by 2 micro micro is times 10 to the power of negative 6 okay it is 150 times right okay so uh, so the the amplification factor is 150 no unit eh? No units, just one five zero means that the, the collector current is always one hundred and fifty times higher than the base current. So that is the amplification factor. Let's have a look at another amplification circuit. Eh? Okay, amplification circuit. Now, what's the difference between this circuit? See, we have two circuit. Eh? Okay, this one. This one is amplification circuit. Okay. And this is also an amplification circuit. Okay, the difference between these two is this one. Okay, we have two electric source, and uh, this one, uh, the current is smaller, and this one, the current is higher. Uh, but we can also the circuit in this way. Okay, there's only one cell, one battery. Okay, this is a battery here, and then so instead of using, instead of using another this uh, electric source uh, okay we use we use two capacitor two capacitor to control the currents we use these two capacitor to control the currents uh. this this two capacitor control the currents uh, by using a law called potential divider okay i will discuss with you the, the potential divider later when we discuss uh, automatic switch uh, okay for the time being, just need to know that this this uh, these two resistor act as a potential divider, and is used to control the voltage across the base and the collector. Okay, so this is to use to control the collector voltage and the base voltage. Uh, and then so from here we can see there's a microphone here, right? Okay, so this microphone is an input. It's an input, and the functions of the microphone. Eh? What's the functions of a microphone? The functions of a microphone is to convert sound energy to electrical energy. So, microphone, it converts sound to current. It converts sound to current. Huh? So this microphone, it, it converts the sound to current. So there's a current flow here, okay? Why we need the capacitor here? Why we need the capacitor here? Now, microphone uh, when it converts the sound into currents uh, the currents that produce is uh, uh, alternating currents 
so the currents produced by microphone is alternating currents. So this alternating currents it will move backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, forwards. Huh? Okay. So that is how it works. Okay. But then so we have one problem here because uh, you see we have a battery here. So the currents from the batteries it will go up, uh, go here. Okay. Uh, it can also go down, or it will go to the base. Okay, it will go to the base. Okay, now we have a problem here. Now these currents, it go to the, it go to the base fine. Okay, that's uh, what we wanted to do. Okay, and it go to the earphone fine. Okay, and it go to the second uh, resistor fine. Okay, but the problem is, uh, it, it also go to the microphone. Okay, it also go to the microphone. Uh, if there is no capacitor, if there's no capacitor, these currents can go to the microphone. Eh? Okay, when these currents go to the microphone. Uh, it's a direct current, eh? okay? It's direct current. Then it can increase, increase this uh, alternating current eh? to a certain level, but that is not what we want, okay? That's not what we want, okay? We don't want the direct currents to come here. We just want the microphones to control the voltage here, okay? So we don't want the uh, direct currents to come here, okay? And that's why we put a capacitor here, okay? That's why we put a capacitor here because capacitor. It can only allow the alternating currents to move in the circuit, but it cannot allow the direct currents to pass through it. So the capacitor here is to prevent the direct currents go to the microphone circuit here. So when there's a currents come to pass through the earphone and there's a currents go to the base, and the currents uh, at the earphone here is controlled by the current at the base. The current here is controlled by the current here, okay? So a small currents produced in from this uh, microphone, a small currents produced from the microphone will produce a large currents in the collector. That is how a capacitor work, right? Small currents in the base will produce a large currents in the collector. Uh, so the small currents produced by the microphone will produce a large currents at the collector, and the collector connected to the earphone or the speaker. What's the function of a speaker? Speaker does not increase enlarge the sound. Okay, it does not enlarge the sound. Eh? So speaker it just convert electrical energy to sound energy. Okay, so that is the functions of uh, speakers or earphone. Eh? So you see, what we do is we use a microphone, microphone to convert the sound to current, electrical currents. Eh? So then these currents pass through the base circuit and it produces a larger currents in the collector because it's an amplifier, okay? Small currents in the base will produce large currents in the collector, okay? So speakers con convert sound to uh, electrical energy. So small current here will produce a large currents in the earphone and the earphones convert the electrical energy back to sound. Okay. Now since this one, the, the, the current is much higher than the current here, so therefore the sound produced is also much higher than the sound collect here. So that is how uh, this the amplifier circuit work. So you see, uh, okay, a lot of students they have a misunderstanding. They, they say, okay, the, the speaker increases the sound. No, the speaker does not increase the sound, okay? okay the speaker just change, just convert the currents to sound. What increases the sound? Okay, the sound increase is because the current increase and the current is increased by the transistor. The current increased by the transistor. So sound to current increased by transistor change back to sound. Okay, so then uh, from a uh, very soft sound, then you can have a very loud sound here.